Annyeonghaseyo, Dulali Crafts, Karen Imdira. Hi, and welcome to yet another card making tutorial from Dulali Crafts. I'm on a roll. This is three days in a row. Wow, go me. Actually, no. If you count Monday, which wasn't a Christmas card, that's four days in a row. You're going to be over me soon. <laughs> Okay, today we are making another card using the Most Wonderful Time Suite. You buy this in a box and you get all of your DSP, your some specialty card, your stickers, um, some little gold stars for decoration and some gold tinsel which you can use as well. And it all comes in the one pack. All you need to do is buy extra dimensionals, glue dots or your stamp and seal to put the cards together. And you can even buy packets of cards and envelopes as well. So you could buy it all in one go and then get all of your Christmas cards over and done with. Now, I haven't worked it out, but I reckon you could make probably 50, 60, maybe more cards from just this suite just this this box of um card making supplies it's just gorgeous now today we're using one i think is supposed to be mistletoe now this one has got the um the the seeds or the berries are actually gold um i know on the sticker sheet when you get it they're red so I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be mistletoe because I thought mistletoe was white so who knows anyway you just need the card base the DSP a scrap of whisper white card stock and some of the um, specialty in, um, gold embossed um, specialty card stock and yeah I'm just using the small pale tree from the sticker sheet and what I did was I got the I don't know whether you can see that's a heap of little candy canes that you can stamp on your tree I stamped it in Versamark first and went straight from the Versamark to the real red got it all linked up, stamped it on the tree, covered it with clear embossing powder and heat embossed it. So you've got all these little shiny um, candy canes hanging from the tree. Really cute, just something different. Now, let's get the stamping out the way. So I'm going to come in with the Comfort and Joy stamp from the set. And I'm hoping I'm going to get this straight because I'm not actually looking over the top of it. So, hoping for the best. Oh, I didn't do too badly at all. Now, I'm going to bring the inside of the card in. Now, this, these, as you'll all know if you watched any of my videos, this latest set of um, cards that I put my um, logo on, I cut to the wrong size. So, I will have the proper sizes on my blog. So, don't worry, yours will be a little bit longer than this um, and about the same width. Now, I've just got to clean this stamp off because it has stays on on it. So, I'll just clear the stays on off. So, it's not going to go onto my real red. And I'm not worried that it doesn't come off. Only because it makes it easier to see what the um, stamp says. Okay, so I'm hoping for the best again. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Didn't stamp that too badly, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to pop that aside. And I'm going to bring in my Pear Pizzazz, which I do believe is the colour in this. I did look earlier, but I can't remember whether I got the colour right. Okay, I don't want a really heavy colour, so I'm just going to stamp that Christmas tree there just for a little bit of difference and then I'm going to come in with one of the stars from the stickers and I'm hoping to get this little one out there we go and I'm going to pop that just over that side There's a little bit of fluff under it. There we go. So that's the inside decorated. If you've got leftover card um, 
paper that you would like to put across the bottom inside just as a bit of added decoration you could do so but I'm not going to bother with this card okay what I'm going to do I oh, better get rid of that move that to the side in with my stamp and seal okay and I'm just going to this one has got a really narrow border as you can see so there we go that's the card front and then we come in with our layering piece but before we do that I'm going to put some more stamp and seal across the back and then in with our decorative paper and I'm just going to pop that on the bottom there and across the top just for a little bit of added bling like so we will trim those off and then in with dimensionals and the card is almost finished the backing off and then I'm just going to lift this up so I can see it better that can go across there like so and just a bit of added bling, I'm going to add one of the stars to the top of the Christmas tree. And there we go. Another simple but really pretty Christmas card. I hope you liked today's card. And um, if you would like to buy the most wonderful time Christmas kit, just follow the link down below and you go to the new releases um, and go to the August December catalogue and you will find it there most wonderful time uh, card kit okay that's enough from me for today join me again tomorrow for another card and I'll probably be using this kit again tomorrow okay that's enough from me I'll catch you later